Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through this tutorial on how to derive and use the equation of trajectory in projectile motion. So equation of trajectory is an equation for the path described by a projectile. For example, if a particle is projected with a velocity u at an angle theta to the horizontal, it will take this path. It will take this path. So this path is known as the trajectory and the equation for this path is known as the equation of trajectory so in this case we shall consider horizontal displacement at any time t to be x and the vertical displacement at any time t to be y in other words sx will be considered to be x and sy will be considered to be y so we shall get an equation relating x and y and that will be our equation for this path known as the equation of trajectory. We shall start with horizontal motion. So using the second equation of motion for horizontal motion, we shall come up with sx equal to uxt plus a half at squared. So a is zero, meaning the whole of this goes away, becomes zero. And ux is u cos theta times two, which is that. sx is x, as we said here. Therefore, we shall come up with our x equal to ut cos theta. So that is one equation for x. We also need to get an equation for y. Then we see how to relate the two. So using second equation of motion for vertical motion, we shall say sy is equal to uyt minus a half gt squared. So in this case, y is equal to ut sin theta minus a half gt squared. So we have got two equations, one for x and one for y. So we have to rewrite the two. In this case, we can do it easily by eliminating t. You see, t is common in both. So making t the subject t, I shall come up with t equal to x over u cos theta. Substitute it where there is t in this equation for y. We shall get y equal to u, open brackets, x over u cos theta, which is the value of t, times sine theta minus a half g in brackets x over u cos theta which is t squared but you have to remember that sine theta over cos theta is, gives you tan theta and one over cos theta gives sec theta so in this case sine over cos will give you tan u over u it will cancel and this cos which is the denominator can go become the numerator by making it sec theta as we have done in this step so u has gone away sine over cos has become tan theta and this cos has become sec theta but we also we also know that sec theta when you square it you get 1 plus tan squared theta so when you substitute that in this part we shall be able to come up with y equal to x plus tan sorry x tan theta minus gt squared in brackets 1 plus tan squared theta close brackets everything over to u squared so this is what we call the equation of trajectory and we shall use it to come up with a solution to the following problems so problem one a stone projected from point o on the horizontal ground moves freely under gravity and hits the ground again at point a taking o as the origin o a as the x-axis and the upward vertical at o as the y-axis the equation of the path of the stone is given by 40y equal to 40x minus x squared where x and y are the me are measured in meters Calculate Roman 1, the magnitude and direction of the velocity at O. Roman 2, the greatest height above OA attained by the stone. And Roman 3, distance OA. And Roman 4, time taken by the stone to reach A from O. So they told us that O is taken as the origin and OA as the x axis, then the upward vertical through O as the y axis. So let the particle be projected at, with a speed u and at an angle of theta above the horizontal. So this is the equation of trajectory. In other words, the equation of this path taken by the particle.
which is 40y equal to 40x minus x squared. We can rearrange, rearrange it to make it in form of this general equation of trajectory by making this quotient of y positive 1. So dividing 4 by 40 will give you y equal to x minus 1 over 40x squared. So in this case when we compare, quotient of x here is 1, quotient of x here is tan theta, meaning tan theta is equal to 1. So come here and say tan theta equal to 1, that gives you tan theta equal to 45. Do the same for x squared, compare the coefficients, the negative is already created for here. Now this quotient of x squared is 1 over 40, in this case the quotient of x squared is this over that. So come and equate the two which is this over equal to that. So in that case, we know that g in math is 9.8, so come and substitute 9.8 there. 1 is there. Now, tan theta, we remember we said tan theta is 1, so this becomes 1, 1 squared is 1, over 2u, which is that, equal to 1 over 40. In that case, we can simplify this 2, 1 plus 1 is 2, so it cancels with this 2 to give you 9.8 over u squared. When you cross multiply, we shall get u squared equal to 40 times 9.8. When you make you the subject, you shall come up with the square root of 392, which is equal to 19.7990 meters per second. So that will be the initial velocity of the particle at O in the direction 45 degrees above the horizontal. Then for Roman 2, they wanted the maximum height. Maximum height is given by the formula u sin theta everything squared over 2g. So u is root of 392 and theta is 45. g is 9.8. When you substitute, you should come up with 10 as your maximum height. Roman 3, they wanted distance OA. So from this equation, at O and at A, the displacement is 0 vertically. So y is equal to 0. Come and substitute y equal to 0 here. You come up with a quadratic equation which can be factorized out. x is common in both, so you can factorize it out. Therefore, x is equal to 0. O, 40 minus x is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 40. x is equal to 0, the particle is at point O. So x is equal to 40, the particle is at point A. Therefore, distance OA is 40 meters. Then they also wanted the time taken to move from O to A. So in that case, this horizontal distance OA is given by ut cos theta. So OA is known is 40. Then U is 19.7990. T is what we want, cos 45. So make the subject you come up with 2.8571 seconds. So that will be the time required. For problem 2, a particle is projected from a point A with an initial velocity of 60 meters per second and at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. At the same time, a second particle is projected in opposite direction with initial speed 50 meters per second from a point level with A and 100 meters from A. If the two particles collide, find Roman 1 the angle of projection of the second particle and Roman 2 when the collision occurs. So this will be our sketch. This is particle, the first particle projected at point A with a speed of 60 meters per second and the, and the angle is 30 degrees. The second particle is 100 meters from A projected with, a, with an angle which is unknown, let it be theta, but with a speed of 50 meters per second. So let them collide at this point, which is at a height y. So at, at that point, when they collide, particle A will have moved a distance horizontally, x1, and particle B will have moved a, a distance horizontally, x2. In other words, when you add x1 plus x2, you will have to get 100. So in that case, considering vertical motion, y is equal to ut sine theta minus a half gt. So for particle A, y equal to 60 which is u and 30 which is theta gt squared uh, minus a half times 9.8 t squared 
So when you simplify that, we come up with this equation, call it equation 1. For particle B, U is 50, theta is not known, G is 9.8. So when you simplify, you come up with that equation, call it equation 2. Now, both equations have the same value for Y, so you equate the two, you come up with that and that. So this 9.8, sorry, this 4.9 T squared and 4.9 T squared can cancel, you come up with 30 T and being equal to 50 T sin theta, which is that. T can also cancel to become 3 equal to 5 sin theta. Therefore, th sin theta is equal to 3 over 5, and therefore theta is 36.8699 degrees. So that will be the angle of projection of the, second, of the particle at B. Then for Roman 2, Roman 2 they want the time, so considering horizontal motion, x is equal to ut cos theta. We also know that x1 plus x2 is equal to 100, the distance apart. So x1 is given by u t theta which is 30, x is given by u t theta which is 36.8699. Everything will be equal to 100. So t is common here, you can factorize it out and make it the subject to get 1.0874 seconds. So that will be the answer to the problem. Which brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform. Thank you.